My name is Christian Ogle, and I will be showing you how to install a roller head on a Hammerhead Evolution 2 and install the reel. So, when you start, you have to start taking it apart. First thing you do is you unclip your shot line from your bungee. Then, to not make a mess of it, you hold your shot line towards the clip and a pulley trigger. Pull it out so it doesn't make a big old mess. It's nice and clean. Let it go. Pull shaft. Now you gotta take off your bands. And if your wishbones are tight, you sometimes you would need a small screwdriver. And you grab a little screwdriver like so. Then where the knot is placed, stick it into the knot. slowly turn till it loosens like so some are tighter than the others depending on your band's pressure on your shaft and how 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 long they are and what size bands and the thickness and the tension they put onto your shaft Okay, and that's what we're going to do for both bands. We're going to slide them right up. So, I got the bands pulled off. Now it's the bear gun. Pull these, the spongy. And then we'll unscrew the head and install the head first. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. And this little hole, just pull it out. And slide the rubber through, and then slide this rubber fully through this sh string. Then when you get here, looks like it would be difficult, but you just slide it right out and around the water. So now you got your bungee. This is where the Phillips comes in. Place your Phillips inside the screw. Hold the head. You have to very you have to be very careful about stripping your screw because it can be oxidized from the ocean. And then you pop your head. So you're going to need an object to apply force on this head because these heads, they have these rubber gaskets and when they're sat, when they've sat with the same head for a long time, they can become stuck very easily. So you take the object and right here I'm going to use a vise. So I'm going to stick it through the back band hole, move my gun up, tie it on this vise. Go 
side, don't move. Because you're gonna have to apply pressure here. You're gonna take your handle. And twist, like so. And you can come and see that when I'm twisting, start the pop off. See that we had the open muzzle placed in this gun fairly well with these rubber gaskets so they would hold against the metal pipe. It's pretty cool. So what you're gonna do so you're gonna take your roller head and you're gonna place it in here like this. And you're gonna slowly wobble it down okay so now we're going to be applying the roller head onto the placing it where the muscle goes so as you can see we had some trouble getting the last muzzle off because it was not lubricated because we were not able to reach the inside of it this one be up to so you're gonna take some just soap put it on your fingers and wipe it around the ring like so to make sure it's just a little bit around it you know, don't put it on the plastic but right around the rubber gasket wipe off my... then you're gonna take your roller head place it where it goes you don't want to put it in here facing upside down you just gonna slide it up in there and still you have to play okay now I've got this roller head I mean this roller head on there with a little bit of finesse it was a little bit hard difficult okay place your screw into there where it holds take your Phillips again Apply your screw. Okay, then you take off your bands. So you take, so you go to the bottom of the roller and you pick a side and untie the knot. So then take each side and apply it through like so through each side of the band the head the band through each side of the head now you got it all the way through you take this and you pull up a little bit right there you got it. okay next I'll be starting installing my 70 meter hammer to the room on there and you're gonna take your gun flip it over take your reel push it down and it should slide right up that okay, now you take your so once you got your reel placed all the way to the mark you take your band you pull it evenly over and under the rear holder. Make sure the string is even. This is going to be the rear holder. Then you're going to take your line and you're going to loosen the drag on the rear. Okay, loosen a little bit more. 
squeal out a little bit because it's brand new. Okay, that's about enough. You have it that much. You put it here. Hold it. Okay. So you put it about right there. And you're gonna reel that back up. That's how much line you're gonna need. You don't wanna have it out quite yet. But you're, then you're gonna, but you're gonna need that much in a little bit. You take your shaft. Take your shaft. Pull the bands back and place the shark fins on the side, like through the side of the muzzle. Down. Go. Okay. So when you have your shaft in place, good. It's not gonna slip. And you're holding it. line, slip it under the side, and over, down. And so go straight down to here, go one hook, I'm going to be doing a single wrap, and it's going to go, and you're about to pretty much measure out to there. Then you're going to cut it. take this cut line and you are going to trim it. So I'm going to go in here. And you don't want to use an aluminum crimp because it's it's more of a heavy duty thing for fishing leaders and stuff less shot line so more like you wanting to use a a small lead crimp so you're gonna take your I'm gonna be taking my line right down here on the on the hook Shot line hook, bang, hit it, take it, stick it, pull the thing out, stick it here, and you're gonna crimp it. So, your first thing to do is slide down. There. So you take your crimp, slide it down, go here, put it through on itself. Okay. And you take your crimping tool. Take your crimp and you're gonna hit it up. So once you got it all crimped up, you're going to take that string I talked to you about and you're going to apply it through the hole and take it out. You're going to stick it through. And here's where you got to watch closely. You're going to stick it around. One, two, three. And let's just slide it down. So you got that. Do one more. Take it. And you're gonna slide it down. Knot. Go. Then you're gonna have this knot. It's not very strong. I use it in very different, very different occasions, fishing, diving, different kind of things. If I like getting them done right. Okay. 
it's not so tight. Okay, then you're gonna cut it and burn it. So you're gonna take your reel. That wraps it up pretty much for this Hammerhead Evolution 2. And that's how you convert an open muzzle to a roller and apply a reel. It's pretty simple, just a single wrap. If you want to see where you can buy the kit, the roller head, the vans, and the new shaft, it's about 160 with the shark fins, it's about 140 without the shark fins with the notches. You can look on Hammerhead's website, we're gonna leave that in the link below. And yeah, it's a pretty cherry setup. And if you want to see more videos like this, and we're gonna do some more dive clips and stuff, just um, stay tuned, subscribe, like.